All right, before you head off to bed tonight, find your galoshes, your yes. umbrella, your rain <laughs> pants, whatever you need to get stay dry. Get out the rain gear, yeah. exactly. Exactly. And some of the some of folks across Western Maryland already seen that rain lingering throughout the day. All thanks, yes, to Tropical Depression Nate. And yes, what's left over from Nate will be tracking through the area, mainly I would say over northwestern portions of Maryland. That would be tomorrow morning. But you can see already quite a mess here on the radar and satellite. A few pockets there of heavy showers. The good news is we are not expecting flooding from Nate. So yes, we're going to see some heavy rain. It looks like in certain pockets of the state, but it's going to take a while to move through, which means there shouldn't be that threat for flash flooding. Temperatures right now, well, we are in the low to mid 70s. It looks like across the area and our weather watchers. So it does look like Bill and Kim have 75 there in Bel Air. Thank you so much to you two. And then 75s and yes, 73 there from Phil in Westminster. So we appreciate you keeping an eye on things. The winds quiet as can be right now. That will not be the case though tomorrow. So generally we're talking south southwest winds between 20 to 25 got, uh, to miles an hour during the day. Could see though gusts up to 40 miles an hour. So hold on to your hats. Tomorrow is certainly going to be a blustery day. Here's what we're seeing right now on the radar and satellite. So you can see that we do have all these showers. We have a couple of things happening. So we're going to have the remnants of Nate moving through and then also a cold front. So here we are tonight at midnight. Most of us covered in rain at that point and then 7 a.m. So we're headed back to work tomorrow or perhaps you have the Columbus day off. If you do, good for you. But you can see their showers still for the most part. Now there's that front that I mentioned. Here we are at noon. Most of us dry at that point. A few more showers it looks like over eastern portions there in the evening. But Generally, we are going to see the bulk of this rain move through during the first half of the day. And I'd say early, I think even by mid morning, that rain wrapping on up. Here we are Wednesday. We're looking quiet at that point, although cloud cover seems to take over on Wednesday with a few uh, possibility for a few showers there. Now, if you're taking the boat out tomorrow, keep in mind a gale warning is in effect. Southwest winds 20 to 25 knots, so gusts up to 30. And then tonight, we're eventually going to cool down to right around 72, so really not much of a cool down at all, thanks to all the clouds sticking with us. And then tomorrow, right around 80, 81. It looks like we could see 82. And then thanks to that front, eventually back down into the 70s. Jonathan? Make sure you start your day with Lynn and Marty tomorrow morning on Eyewitness News, starting at 4.55 for the updated first warning weather forecast.